G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. I hope the world's treating you as well as possible in these very strange times we live in. Hope you're ready for a cocktail. Uh, this one I'm going to do is a riff on a classic, arguably inspired by two different YouTubers I follow in the cocktail community. Uh, one, Ray from All About The Cocktails, who besides making cocktails uh, has done a few good reviews on Irish whiskies, one of which convinced me I should try the Jamison Stout edition. So thanks Ray for all your insights on those things. Uh, and there'll be a link to Ray's channels down here. And uh, the other one was Uncle Pete from Uncle Pete's Cocktail Shop, who I've mentioned before, because my clear ice idea was essentially stolen from Uncle Pete. This one, he, he actually did a banana infused Irish whiskey. I'm not banana infusing this, but I am going to use my banana sugar syrup. What I'm going to do is a relatively simple cocktail. It's going to be an Irish whiskey, old fashioned, and instead of using uh, standard sugar syrup or sugar and water, as people often will with old fashions, I'm using my banana uh, sugar syrup. And spoiler alert, I've made this before. It's absolutely fantastic. Often when I come up with weird cocktails on the channel, I, I, I don't make them before the video because I want you to see my first reaction. This one I've made before, it's great and even ahead of time, I will recommend this 100%. It's really simple to make, let's do it right now. Old fashions you can of course make with any spirit. Uh, whiskey is the most common in the modern age, but of course you can use all the different whiskies. Uh, and this one, if you're not aware of it, Jamison have done some special editions in the last year or so. Uh, and uh, this is the Stout Edition, which is their whiskey which has been finished in craft beer barrels. And it has actually picked up a little bit of that beer flavour, that hops sort of flavour. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like beer, there's a sort of, there's a little bit of it on the nose, but it's, this is still Jamison's, this is still Irish whiskey but it definitely has picked up some of those beer elements. So this is, again, the old fashioned simple drink. We're going to start with two ounces or 60 mils of Irish whiskey. I'm also going to add the sugar syrup. As I said, in my case, the banana sugar syrup. Very easy to make. You just use banana peel and sugar. Uh, and for the ratios, say if you have 100 grams of banana peel, cover it in 200 grams of sugar, Leave it for anywhere from a couple of hours to a day till the sugar liquefies and then add uh, 100 mils of water to fully dissolve all the sugar and you get this really nice lightly banana flavoured sugar syrup. So it's one part banana peel, two parts sugar, one part water. Super easy to make but take you anywhere from a couple of hours to a day to make it. Uh, and in terms of how much you put in, that's down to taste and how much you like it. Be anywhere from half an ounce to an ounce, depending who you ask how much to go in. I'm just going to do half an ounce, 15 mils of the banana sugar syrup. The final touch is a couple of dashes of bitters. You can get creative if you like with different sorts of bitters. I'm going somewhat old school with the Angostura bitters. I'm just gonna put in two dashes of Angostura bitters. You can build this straight in the glass if you like. I'm building it in a mixing glass. I've added some ice in. Just gonna give it a stir. We wanna chill that, get a little bit of dilution. Stir it for about 30 revolutions, which will take 10 or 15 seconds. Now I'm simply going to strain that into a glass. This is a double rocks glass with a big chunk of my good old sexy clear ice that I've made. I'm just straining that in, not bothering to double strain. And that's a beautiful color. That's a really nice color from the whiskey and uh, the banana sugar syrup. I think I'm going to do a simple garnish now. With an old fashioned, no matter what the spirit is, I like to, if I can, if I have an orange lying about, get a bit of orange peel. Don't want too much of the pith. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna be too uh, fussy about making this look pretty, but a bit of orange peel. We're going to express the oils over the drink, and then we're going to just wipe the peel around the edge of the glass. I'm gonna drop it right in. 
You don't have to, but I'm dropping it right in because doing it that way, the first thing you get is just this aroma of the orange oils, which I think lifts the old fashioned right up. Uh, and then we can take a nice good sip. Mm. I really think whiskey old fashions benefit from a richer sugar, sugar syrup. So if you're just using a, a, a white sugar syrup, I think a rich sugar syrup, which is two parts sugar to one part water, is better than a 50-50 sugar syrup. Or you could make one from a brown sugar, like a demerara or an unrefined sugar, or in this case, the banana sugar syrup. Banana sugar syrup. Um, yes, I'll be honest. Uh, this is the third video in a row I've made, so I've been drinking several cocktails, but yes, it's sugar syrup. And I think uh, most particularly whiskey old fashions really benefit from a sugar syrup that has a richer flavor. And this is a simple, elegant drink, uh, just absolutely fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Mm. And I think with uh, the banana flavor, there's something about Irish whiskey that particularly lends itself to go well with banana. This is just fantastic. I can't recommend it enough. It's so easy to make that banana sugar syrup. And uh, as I said, Jamison have, Jamison have done a few of these special editions. There's a stout edition, there's an IPA edition. I think there's a coffee one as well. Uh, I'm not a coffee fan, so I haven't tried that. This is fantastic. So simple and so tasty. Uh, I'm. This is what people traditionally call a winter drink. It is the middle of winter for me. I'll drink one of these in the middle of summer. This is just a great drink. There's a reason the old fashioned has been around for so long. It's because it's very simple and tastes really good. I thoroughly recommend you try it. Um, even in such a simple profile of spirit, sugar, and bitters. You can experiment with the sugar you use, you can experiment with the bitters you use, you can experiment with the spirit you use, and you get amazingly different drinks. Uh, something so simple can be so complex and have so many riffs and iterations. It's one of the things I love about cocktails, so much to explore. And hey, I hope you come back and explore more with me. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did. You know, hit the little bell so you get notifications. Uh, leave me a comment, thumbs up. Uh, let's fool the algorithm into thinking everyone loves me. Uh, I'm going to finish this, which will make me feel like I love everyone. So <laughs> I hope you're looking after yourself. I hope you're looking after the people around you as well. But until I see you again, slonche.